So welcome. So my name's Sue Smith. I'm one of the account managers at Morrisby. Um, my details are going to be on the last slide. So if anybody wants to get in touch with me um, later down the line, then please do feel free to make a note of my email and, and contact me. Um, so what we're going to do today is just talk you through the Morrisby Careers Platform um, and also the, the tracker element, which is the, the side of Morrisby where teachers can use to plan and develop their programme and, and assessments and things like that. Um, but also how it links all the way through the school, right from year 7 all the way through to year 13 and beyond. Um, there is another webinar in a couple of weeks time that will be all about psychometric testing. So please do book on that if you want to find out more in depth about the psychometric tests for, for Morrisby. They're an additional um, product that you can add to the Morrisby profile. So as we go through, I'll tell, tell you a few highlights about that and how you can actually where that will appear on the student platform. So what is Morrisby? So Morrisby is a whole school careers guidance platform that's in majority of schools up and down the country that, that I work with. Um, and the the the, set, the the product itself is in um, sections where students can work through the product quite easily um, in a step-by-step -step format. The first thing that students would do is the About Me section, which are the psychometric assessments and guidance, the aptitude, the study interests and the priorities questionnaires are done um, the, the aspirations, sorry, the um, priorities and the study interests are done from a, a student, um, it could be done at any age really, but the uh, the other two um, psychometric tests are the aspirations and um, the which, which is obviously the, the main psychometric testing, um, which obviously includes the personality testing as well. Um, so students can work through them. A lot of schools do the aspirations and priorities and study interests in year nine for year nine options, but a lot use them throughout the school just to give students a, a, an idea of where their aspirations would take them and also links careers to their aspirations in the questionnaires as well. Obviously, the aptitude and the personality, the main psychometric testing, that is based on the ability of the students. So it's things around their uh, verbal communication um, and things like that. So but the, the other um, uh, webinar that I mentioned before, we'll go into that in more detail. Um, so the career lessons also on Morris Bay, there's, 30, there's uh, 28 lessons now in total on Morris Bay, and they do cover the CDI framework. Uh, careers obviously within within the schools also um, link to the Gatsby benchmarks. I don't know if any of you are adopting if in, in the independent schools world. I know I spoke to one one today, although it's not statutory guidance to do so. A lot of the independent schools are also coming on board with the the Gatsby benchmarks. So the career lessons are all mapped to, the, to those. And after this meeting, if you did want me to follow up with a list of all those and how it links to the CDI framework and how it links to the Gatsby benchmarks, I'll send you that through because um, that's a good document that I've developed to start your planning. So the careers library um, gives the students their portfolios of all the careers out there, allows them to search job families and things like that. But it also gives them how the subjects links to careers as well. Um, links to university courses, apprenticeships, and they can obviously search for jobs within that sector as well. So all the information is within the career libraries, and I'll, I'll come on to in more detail what's under each of those tabs um, later in the presentation. And new to Morrisby is our uh, Destinations product, uh, which is part of the Morrisby Plus um, which allows you as a teacher to add a form to students in years 11s, 12s and 13s to give you an indication where students are thinking about going, but also activity recording, which allows you to create your action plans, um, career activities, and basically all the tools that you need to build your portfolio of the lessons throughout the school, but also be able to, to log and make sure that you're hitting the targets as well. So Morris Big Careers, like I said, is a whole school solution. Um, and as you can see, when a student first logs in, they have the three key sections. So there's the About Me section, which is, which is all the questionnaires, the My Choices with, with the things that they're thinking about doing, the things that they've chosen, the likes. And the planner uh, within the My Choices section is a really good way 
for a career advisor, particularly to look at everything that students done. Uh, so you can see where, where they're thinking of what subjects they're thinking about doing, in, in uh, 13 to 14, plus 16, where they're thinking about going afterwards, but also what careers they're thinking about going and any apprenticeships have been liking. And the progress, the section there is all about how they're going to get there. So action planning, activities, students can log their own activities, what skills that they've developed over the years as well. And they've also got their passport, which is their online record of achievement and any application that they made as well. Um, the, we've also got hundreds of resources that are quite overlooked on, on Morrisby um, and the sources of information that, that students can have a look through. Um, so please do, if you want to find out more about those, they're on our website. Anybody can, can view those. Uh, we do as a team review them on a regular basis. We, we update them all the time. And that's just another uh, way of using Morrisby in front of class as well, because you can actually deliver those front of class too. So. Going back to the About Me section, so it is a way of students to um, provide them with detailed insight for the student about where their um, interests are when it comes to their aspirations. So we think working with people, information and things. So the way that the questionnaires are, are worded allows students to ask those, those statements to themselves and they grade them. And then when, when we actually present the results back, we present them back in this format, which also is presented in a document within their locker, which they can download and share with parents and things like that. So it's a record of all the results as well. It also uh, looks at the suggested career subject courses and choices for next stages as well. Um, and the My Choices and Careers suggestions the information that we present to students are really easy to read. We try to design this page to make sure that it's an easy way of a structure. So you look at, for instance, the overview, and then you look at how you can get there, for instance, so routes to that career. And each career has a really nice infographic, which is on the right hand side. Um, which shows the students as well as teachers to be able to get over the message that you don't necessarily need to go down the academic route. You can also go down the vocational route as well, which allows parents to also understand that you don't necessarily need to go into um, the A level, like I say, route. You could also go in down to the T, T level route, which also then allows you to get to the same career suggestion or career path as, as well. Um, there's over 600 in our library um, and we do link to live job vacancies on every career page. We link to the five job boards as well, which obviously gives students the ability to look at where, where jobs are available right now. That's also good for if you're doing any CV writing or any uh, mock interview skills. They can obviously look at the jobs uh, that are available in the, the area and prepare for those things. Now, the regional LMI information is brand new to Morrisby. We launched this in the summer and a lot of people don't know about this at the moment. So in every career um, job portfolio, um, it has an overview of the number of jobs, the rate of change and the salary compar uh, comparisons. And that's both national and regional because students are registered to the school, the system picks up the, the, the postcode of that student and the region is then displayed to the student. So, and there's also a lesson wrapped around the regional LMI. So students, maybe year 10s, appreciate why this is so important, that they need to be looking at what's on the doorstep and, and obviously doing the comparisons as well. And obviously part of the Gatsby benchmarks too. We also allow students to look at within the, the profile subjects to, to match their, their profile as well. It gives detailed information, including entry level criteria and tariff and course searches with, no, with the links to university websites in UCAS. So it's kind of one stop shop when it comes to um, the, what, what universities uh, have to offer um, and also linking subjects with them universities as well. And I will talk about our high product slightly towards the end of the presentation, which is an additional product that you can that you could uh, look into if you do have a sixth form. And there is a webinar about that in a couple of weeks time as well, but I'll more on that later on. So my choices section, the apprenticeship and the vocational routes. This allows students to search our system for the vocational subject suggestions. It allows students to look at live vacancies as well when it comes to apprenticeships. And we do something that allows 
the system to draw in the apprenticeships and it shows students an overview of where they are, what they are, um, where, where they are, what they are um, all about. And then they can go up and apply for that. Um, students can also like apprenticeships in our system as well. A lot of our competitors take students directly off to websites, whereas we don't. We bring the information in. So we actually are tracking all that data within the system as well. So the action planning um, and next steps, obviously students have to understand what they want to do, but how are they going to get there? And that's obviously what the action planning tools are all about. Um, and the planning section to store all the favorite shortlists and things, which is which is you go, what you can see on the system there. So the planner, like I said before, options at 14, what they're thinking about doing, uh, options at 16, the things that they're thinking about taking, options at 18 and careers. Now, a lot of schools don't appreciate that you can actually populate your options for 14 and 16 into Morrisby careers. So if you did want to do that, then, then let us know or send an email to our support app if you haven't already listed all your options in the system. So when the students are looking at subjects and careers, your subjects are actually within the system. So your curriculum is, is listed there so they know what they can do when they're going to um, their GCSE options or into uh, post 16 as well. A very important tool that we believe at Morrisby is the parental access tool. Um, so students can, um, by adding in parents' names and their guardians' names um, on their email addresses, invite parents to log on and see their profile. They can't do anything, uh, they can't change anything, but parents can have a look around and see the career options that the student, their, their son or daughter has been, been displayed, looking at their profile, their results and things, looking in their locker. So it's a good way to invite parents into the world of our careers. Um, and it is really easy. Um, and like I say, if you do want more information, um, then the, the website is there, but we'll certainly be able to, I would certainly be able to send you some more information. So that's the student side. There's a lot more to Morrisby um, when it comes to career progression and building the platform as the school wants it to be. So this is making Morrisby a whole tool for you to be able to add things onto Murray's bit that you currently deliver. So like I previously said, there are uh, 28 lessons already there on Murray's bit for you to use. And um, the lessons are all um, marked and I'll show you some, some in a second, some of the, um, the layouts of the lessons all ready to use, but you can create your own lessons. So if you've got something that you use year on year, you can, you can create it in Murray's bit and assign it to the students. But the tracker elements of Morrisby, so this is the plus side of Morrisby that we launched a couple of years ago. This allows you to, like I say, create your own forms and create your own activities. It generates your career plan. Um, it, it records activities as well. And it also um, sends that to the student profile as well. So it forms their portfolio of the things that they've done. So activities can be anything from careers fairs to a university visit to anything to from Duke of Edinburgh or a talk. So anything that you've done with your students, you would record. The beauty about that is that students don't even need to have used Morrisby. You can actually um, log these on, on students' behalf. So when they actually log in, um, they will get what they've done previously. Um, the main thing as well when it comes to logging an activity is not only marketing in your career plan, saying what Gatsby benchmarks um, you, you've actually delivered for that lesson and what skills builder framework it follows, but also you can add um, the feedback form for students. So this is really particular uh, brilliant for when you are wanting to look at the, or measuring the impact of these um, things that you're doing with students. What are they thinking about the, the, the sessions that you're doing? Um, and also student voice, get collecting that feedback. And the other beautiful thing that Morrisby does well is we create these reports on your behalf. You don't have to do anything. It's all turned into nice PDFs. The career plan is ready to go onto your uh, website. Once you've added your activities, you download that. The activity feedback form is collated per activity and it's per student. So you can see what students have said. 
And then you've got the loads and loads of um, data dashboards. So there's things, the, the reports that you can produce. So what the tracker allows you to do is track every single student, where they are, what they've done, what stage they're all at, and make sure that there, there's no holes in your career plan as well. So where you've not delivered to the Gatsby benchmarks, but also where, you, where you're falling down on other things as well. So um, the other thing that the tracker will do, or the plus side of Morris Fit, is it links to your MIS. So SIMs are equivalent. Um, you can draw all the data in from your SIMs and create all your student accounts. Um, and therefore, your students don't have to create their own accounts um, that, that it does all, all that for you. Also brings in all the year group information, form group information, house group information as well. The good thing about that is that the reports then mirror those, those things within the system. So you can produce reports based on year group and all, then also your groups as, as well. And you can create your own groups as well. So this is just an overview. I'm, I'm actually going to redo this slide, but it's, this is an overview of how it meets the benchmarks and how it meets the skills builder framework um, and also the CDI framework. But there's more to add on here. So I will be updating this slide when I send this slide out to you. It will be a different one. But this just shows you the depth of the um, information that are actually within the lesson plans. Um, and like I say, if you if you do want more information about that, then do get in touch. and We can talk through that in, in more detail. The activities in, in our world, in the world of Morrisby, are things that you have done or a lesson that you are planning to do with students. So we have created our activity creation wizard that takes you through step by step how to create an activity on Morrisby. It is so easy to do. Once you've done one, you can clone one. Um, so if you want to, for instance, do one activity in one year, and it's slightly different for, for a year nine than year eight, you can clone it and tweak it. You can point students, in, students into um, the websites or to worksheets or also attached forms that you've created. One of the good um, activities within Morrisby is, for instance, our CV um, building exercise, which is an activity that you would start, assign to your students. It's already there for you, but the activity creation wizard allows you to create your own. So when I first started talking about the, the actual tracker side of Morrisby, it is... It can be whatever you want it to be. You can use our 28 lessons, you can dip in and out of it and use some of your own. But what you can also do is log things that you've done outside of the Morrisby world as well. This is how you would, within the activities with Wizard, you can add multiple benchmarks. So if it covers LMI or if it, come, it, it covers employer encounters, you can add multiple benchmarks as well, which allows you to um, just do one activity across multiple benchmarks. You don't have to redo them time and time again. And the, the beauty about doing that as well saves you time. Um, for those that do use Compass Plus, you can then download all your activities and upload it into Compass Plus in one go, which is so simple and so straightforward. Anybody wanting to know more about that, we're actually doing a webinar with the CEC, with the Careers and Enterprise Company next week. So if anybody does want to find out more, please do see the CEC website there, or I will send a, a log, a, a detail of the webinar link if anybody does want to, to know about that later on. The Skills Builder Framework within Morrisby is allows you to um, follow the Skills Builder Framework within the activities. We obviously create activities to the Skills Builder Framework, but if you are actually following the Skills Builder Framework themselves, as in you subscribe to Skills Builder, then you can also create your, your activities in Morrisby and tag those. And this also pulls through on the student's uh, passport, which again is their online record of achievement, which shows the skills that they work towards throughout the year and what level they're at to. So this is just a quick uh, page around Morrisby forms. The forms are 
if anybody's ever done um, the Google Forms, you create your own form and then you attach this to, to one of the activities that you created. So this could be anything from a work experience diary to anything that you want students to fill out. And you can actually then, the report will pull these together so you can have a collation of the, these within the reports as well. So that's all done for you. You can clone reports, uh, clone the, um, the forms as well. So, but we, we have, this is all built into the Morrisby profile, into the Morrisby tracking side of things as well. And by using all the things that I've just previously said, it generates your career plan, which can then be put onto your website. We give you a template of the things that you should really be doing when it comes to statutory or, uh, uh, careers, CIAG in the school, but you can amend these if, you, if this is something that you don't currently do, but then you can turn it into your PDF and then put that onto your website. Um, this includes all your core activities as well. And then at the end of it is a summary of what your activities you're planning to do with what what level or what year group, should I say, in what term as well, which is a nice thing to have. The amount of times I've been into career offices and seen a big spreadsheet on the wall that keeps getting updated, this all does it for you automatically. So once you've had an activity, a core activity, this all gets updated as well, which obviously saves, saves time as well. So by doing one activity to a full year group, put it onto your career plan, confirms the learning to that student because it adds it to their passport. Um, but also it, it get, gets you feedback and then you can obviously link it to your Gatsby benchmarks, which then tracks on the on the tracker side as well. So it does multiple things. Um, so this is the um, recording of the activities. So within the tracker element, which is, is shown on the left hand side, so anybody that's got access to tracker will have seen this, but we give you the 20, 28 lessons that are already there um, and you literally can look at uh, what an overview of the planned activities, uh, but then it shows you what students have done, your career plan and the forms. So it's quite e an easy tool to use. It's quite um, intuitive and once you've used and, and got to understand and appreciate how to create your own activities, it's a very simple program to follow. Students really, really, one of the most important things need to be logging what they have achieved is if it's Duke of Edinburgh, for instance, or if it's any extracurricular activities, they can log them themselves. This is, this is against or above what you've logged on their behalf. So this is all going towards the portfolio of their achievements. So what have they done over time in the school? They should be encouraged to do this with the title, the description, and then they can also mark their own um, skills that they think that they've developed, but also they can drag files um, that could be a photograph or whatever. And this obviously is evidence, but also reflection of what they've done during the time at the, at the school. This is the feedback form that I mentioned. So when you do an activity, you can ask students to do a feedback form. In this case, it's about the activity uh, apprenticeships. The students rate the activity out of five, what they liked, what they learned, and how it could be improved. Once they, they have submitted that through the system, we create this report for you automatically. So you can see what students have said, which gives you the attendees, the feedback that you've asked for and how many actual feedback were completed and you can also chase the feedback through the system as well. One thing that I didn't say about the activities is that students get a notification now so if you've got something planned the following week you can say whether or not students receive a notification the week before to say log on to Morrisby with the link directly to that activity so that they can go on. This obviously is good for our homework setting and things like that. It will send them a link directly to the activity. So they click on the email, click on the link, and it will take them straight into the product where they need to complete the activity as well. This is the data and dashboards on Murraysby. There are so many reports that you can produce, but what we try and do is show you um, in a data format like this, a nice visual, but also then you've got the ability to download the data as well into Excel or CSV format, whichever you prefer. Uh, uh, so you can then go on and produce your own graphs and things if you want to, but this is all online. Now teachers, 
not only one teacher can have access to this, you can have all your teachers have access to, to Morrisby. So this could be everybody logging on and see where you are with, within the, the Gatsby progress and the essential skills. But we try and make this really, really nicely set out and easy to use. And by clicking on these tiles, we'll turn the information around and then you can download the data as well. It's very easy to use. This is the Gatsby benchmark tab within the tracker uh, tab on, on Morrisby. So once you started to use the activities within the tracker, this is how you can then see at a snapshot, you can change your group. So for instance, you can change your year groups, year sevens, years twelves, whichever one you want to look at, or just a form group if you want to by selecting the group here. And then you can obviously, it will change the information underneath. And by clicking on any of the tabs, sorry, at the top, just go back one, sorry. By clicking on any of the tabs at the top, you can then, it will then filter out as well. So it's quite easy to use. Um, but this obviously is a really good way you're monitoring and showing where the gaps are, like I previously said. The any Anybody using Compass Plus as well, you download the activities and upload that into Compass Plus. It's so easy to follow. I know there is a few independent schools that might not use Compass Plus. Um, but a lot of our schools are finding our system really, really easy to easy to use. And this obviously is the, um, the feedback that you can, can also see. And it has information about everything on Morrisby. Um, so the type of activities that you would log, you'll, you'll all know this anyway. So centrally, like career lessons, career assemblies, work experience, mock interviews and career fairs. Optional things such as colleges, university visits, Duke of Edinburgh, workshops, talks, employee sessions, and then students volunteering, work experience, um, and extracurricular uh, participation. We do, like I say, provide the, the schools, both teachers and students, with some lovely reports. Your school should have your logo on here. If you don't, then you need to get in touch because you could you can upload your logo. So all your students' uh, reports, if it's their profile report, if it's the psychometric testing that they've done, or their, um, as in this, their learner passport, should have your logo on here. Um, and that's the same across the board, including your career plan too. Um, like I said previously, the learner passport is the, the digital record of achievement. It does log everything that the students have done themselves, but also what you've done for them and the skills and the qualifications as well. So this is a good reflection when they're thinking about their college applications, university applications, if they're thinking about doing any Saturday work, it's something that they can then review on a on a on, on that type, type of basis. I did mention this before, the destination data. So we introduced this onto Morrisby so that schools can easily collate where students are thinking about going post 16, post 18. Um, students are assigned the questionnaire and it allows them to fill the form in, enter the intended destinations, list their offers, and also options to find out more about alumni. Um, this obviously is, is ideal for uh, tutors to see where, th where students are thinking about going, um, but also it produces a lovely report that you can, if you do have to uh, give the information into the local authority, it will be in the format that you need to upload into the local authority database, but it therefore allows you to update this, and make sure that you know exactly where everybody's doing, this probably will be the, the, the report itself good for when you're doing your GCSE results day um, to make sure that students are taking the first offer and keeping a record of where students are intending, intending to go. And this is the manager dashboard. Um, what we do try and do in Morrisby Manager is make the system easy to read and easy to navigate around. So within the destinations tab here on the left hand side, you can then select your students and then enable the questionnaire. And it's as easy as that. When the student then logs in, they will get a notification. But then when they log in, it will appear on the student dashboard for them to complete. This is the form. So it's a, a quick and easy form for them to fill in. Um, shouldn't take students five minutes. Um, 
but you can obviously do this in years 12 and year 13 as well uh, and make sure if for instance you don't have a sixth form in the school as well it allows students to update their email address for future use as well and passes that information on to the school so instead of having the students um, school email address you'll then have their personal one and it gives them the opportunity to to provide you with that and it, it keeps a track so again what Morrisby does and does well is allows you to have a snapshot of everything in, in one place in this case where students have completed the forms what offers they've had so it produces a report like this within the system but also you, then you can export the data too so just I'm just going to touch on Morrisby Hire slightly. I don't know if anybody has seen Hire. It is a, an add-on that you can purchase, um, and I'll go through, through the prices towards the end, but it's a product that is used in um, six forms that allow students to look at um, where they can go post-18. So it is an enhanced student experience. The information that is within the system allows students to um, look at course information and really detail course information as well. Allow students to select multiple courses and compare them. And all the information is there for them to be able to find out more. They can delve into the university if they want to find out more information about the university as well. Um, and it also gives them the shortlist output for, for sharing too. The study interest questionnaire on Morrisby, the last questionnaire that, that students usually do when it comes to higher education, and that links their, their strengths or what they think their strengths are when it comes to subjects to higher education um, options as well. And within the system as well, it has a personal development uh, so personal statement development tool as well, which is a wither, which is so easy to use too. So the study interest questionnaire looks very similar to the aspirations and the priorities questionnaire, but it does link them to uh, 150 higher education subjects. So it's a nice way of students thinking about what they want to do when they leave sixth form. This is the enhanced course search. It allows students to add their UCAS tariff um, based on their, their points and it gives them their save, their target and their stretch. Um, so it, it allows them to look at their save uh, applications, target and then stretched as well. There is the dedicated course page which allows students to, like I said before, see all the detailed information that they want to see about that course. And you'll see here some stats and information that's really important, but also shortlists and the comparison tool, which I mentioned previously. And building to share a shortlist as well, view courses, research, and then they can share via an email. So all their courses that they have liked, which any, any uh, part of Morrisby has their, their, their liked, they can share that because that forms part of their locker, one of their documents in their locker. Now, the personal statement wizard is so easy to use. Um, it is a wizard um, or free form, depending on what, what, you, what you call them. But it's a step-by-step -step guide how to create your personal statement, basically. Once you've done it, you can lock that and send it off to your tutor or your designated tutor that is assigned to you. And the student can then edit or they can add post-its to the, the statement to say it's too long or you need to add more here. So students have got highlighted information on their personal statement, what they need to amend. Then once their, their personal statements are all confirmed and authorised, um, it can then be downloaded and uploaded into the UCAS as text or, or PDF. Now, another good thing about our um, statement, personal statement wizard, is teachers have the ability to undo previous personal statements. So if a student has made an error, a complete mess of, of one one paragraph then teachers can undo and they can do it undo as many times as what the students saved previously as well so it's a nice get out get out clause now one of the one of the the main things on the the higher as well as the student side um 
the, the personal statement, obviously, is the tool for the teacher, the UCAS person within the school, but also predicted grades. So teachers get assigned which students to assign predicted grades. Now, the beauty about Morrisby as well is teachers in your sixth form don't even need to know about Morrisby. They get an inbox within Morrisby, so they just need to log in and they can do the tasks from there. They get notifications. You can chase from here as well. And also you can you can collate subject references. So you can chase staff as well. So again, like the predicted grades, you assign teachers and then they can chase the, the teachers for the um, for those references that's needed. Now, this is something that um, a lot of six form head of six forms love this page. It's a snapshot of everything, the state of account when it comes to where your year 13s are at. It shows you your um, the tutor group, the favorite of courses, what the applications, their grades, so where the predicted grades have been entered, where the references are completed. For instance, all these references are being done and confirmed. These have been completed but not yet confirmed, so they've not been locked. And also the, the review of the personal statements, and you can see exactly what. And also on these, you can chase directly from, from this page as well. If, for instance, there, there's only three out of five, this will be um, orange. If there's zero out of five references or grades done, it'll be in red. So it flags it up to you. Nice snapshot of, of where you're at with the with students. Um, so one last thing about Morrisby. So why Morrisby? I get asked this all the time about what Morrisby is all about. We are 55 years um, old this year. So you've got the knowledge. Our psychometric testing is 55 years old. Um, it's been tried and tested over the years, but over the, over the years also, we have built this repertoire of products that have been developed to and designed to support learners of all ages, right from year seven, age 11, all the way through and beyond. Um, it does give students um, an overview of you know, self-discovery, what makes them special, where are the strengths, things that they've probably not even thought about before, um, how do others see me when it comes to the psychometric testing specifically? But also, where do they fit within the world of work? What's their personality um, type? Um, where are their interests? Um, and also, what educational training routes are best for me? Um, and this obviously is a nice question to ask parents as well. Parents sometimes don't appreciate it. You can go down the vocational route as well as the academic route and still come out with the same results and same level of qualification. The world of work and making the right choices, obviously, is one of the main things that we try um, and support our young people with. I'm, I'm you know, very, very passionate about making sure that the students have the right tools to make those well-informed decisions. Um, but develop and record the life skills. What have they achieved during the time at the school? You'll all be doing very wonderful things um, there and, and it's nice to be able for them to be able to stamp that they've done that and make that record um, appreciate you know the, the breadth and options open to them in life so what is the big wide world all about what makes the world of work where it is um, prepare positively for key decisions the key moments of choice I don't think a lot of students when they come into key nine, year nine options appreciate what that impl you know what implies making these decisions and what that would lead to hopefully doing the Morrisby aptitudes and the aspirations and priorities will give them an insight as to where those choices will take them um, and obviously researching opportunities for themselves so they can look at careers they can look at the availability LMI information all in one page and knowing and knowing all in one place and knowing that all the information is up to date relevant and right at that point um, what we also try to do is make career leaders lives a lot easier um, we try and give you the tools that allow you to be able to develop your career plan easily um, and publish it without having to do multiple tasks all the time. Once you've done one plan, you can, you know, you can um, duplicate year on year. Um, and also to, to allow you to monitor what you've done with the students. So you can mentor and support the entire student population because you've got an overview of everything, what you've done by recording the activities against the Gatsby benchmarks, if you have adopted them, and obviously against the skills um, and for the, the careers and enterprise company using the Compass Plus 
tool as well. And obviously the higher product to manage the UCAS and the transition processes well and easily, um, but giving you full visibility of, of everything that the students have done, but also where your teachers are with, within the, the UCAS progress process as well. Um, and obviously making sure that the students are fully prepared um, for their future, giving them the information. And obviously when a student does start to use Morris Bay, it's not just for that point, in their life it's also to be used as a reference throughout their stages and as long as the, the students or the school subscribes to Morris B, then they have their login they can log in at any time any t any anybody that buys their, their main psychometric profiling the student has that for life as we would probably all know 